I'm back. Yeah. It's really seemed like a long winter of all those lockdowns and uh, spring was really wet, um, but I'm back on it again now. Um, done a couple of just single overnighters and uh, a couple of two-nighters, you know, but um, hoping to get up and out really soon. Um, I want to thank everyone, all my current subscribers who've stayed on board uh, throughout this long break and uh, a big hello to all the new subscribers it's really wonderful to see you all and um, keep the comments and questions coming because even if I can't answer them personally then I, it gives me an idea of what content to show you you know what, what, I'm, what you want from these vlogs what you'd like to see <laughs> and here's Hamish <laughs> you just about to see him um, so still thing with the dog is a whole no, new level and my Logan used to come in the back of the van quite happily and settle down with me of a night this one was peeping through the back curtain last last night and there was someone uh, standing outside for ages so I think he blew our cover but we weren't disturbed So when I'm sleeping in here at night with the dog, I have to pull the bunk right the way out. So it comes up to here. And last night he opted to sleep on the table <laughs> uh, with his head on the bed, which was here. Um, some people have asked what is the maximum le width that you could have for a double bed in here. And I'm reckoning that it is about... Um, a 120 centimetres. <laughs> Hello Hamish. <laughs> and you might, if you're clever and you can shape around the edges, um, then you probably get a little bit more, I would think. But because of the shape of the vehicle and because I didn't want it too high, um, <laughs> because you have to come over these little cubbies here, um, you could get a bit more. I think but I'd say yeah working on 120 centimeters I'm back from that little trip now and um, I'm just getting ready for the next one but before I go I just wanted to answer one more question about the length of the bed that can be fit into the C8. Um, it seems some of you are quite tall. Um, I'm about 1 meter 68 so it's plenty of room for me. Passenger seat is uh, positioned so that it can comfortably um, sit uh, a normal adult I mean I can sit in it as a passenger although it's just used for the dog most of the time um, and then the bunk is behind it now I haven't used up all the available space with mine 
there is a little bit of space at the back so you could keep the passenger seat in in position so you've got to make sure that you can close the tailgate on the bunk obviously but you can actually get over six foot um what we got 77 inches so of course if you need more than that you can always move the seat forward so now i've moved the seat forward as far as it will go um yeah you'd be all right for the dog but uh, it would be a squeeze for anyone sitting in there but it would give you extra space if you needed it so yeah it's actually going to give you an extra seven inches there so i'd say you're good up until about seven foot of course if you're never going to take a passenger you're traveling on your own there's no reason you couldn't take the passenger seat out i guess and uh, you just have to have some sort of temporary curtain for the evenings but uh, you know the, the vehicle's so versatile so that's it for this vlog um, hoping to head back on the road again next week in, in a couple of days actually there's a little bit of Hampshire that I haven't seen yet and um, you all stay safe have fun and I'll see you soon <laughs>